Well, I think that's where we're seeing the budgets uh, are reflected in the number of guests that they're inviting. So instead of the 120 persons, we're getting the 50 to 60 or the 30 even. After a busy last year for the Okanagan wedding industry, vendors and venues are seeing couples with a tighter budget this season. I feel like the previous year, it was, you know, we, we have to get married because we've waited for two years. You know, we're willing to spend anything. Um, and then now people are really not having to fight for venues as much. And I feel like now it's going back to watching budgets a little bit more. And I think it's an appreciation for your guest list. It's really hard to see all of your guests when you do have a large wedding, a 200 person wedding. Um, and the intimacy of a 80, 50 to 80 wedding, um, I think people are really appreciating that. A lot of our brides, Okanagan, like we're a destination wedding almost, right? Everyone's coming from Vancouver, Calgary or something. So everyone's traveling. It's a little bit more expensive, um, especially with gas and everything these last couple of years. So I think that helps rein it in as well as everyone. Like I hear from brides like, okay, we don't need to invite like my parents' neighbors and like all like you can really keep it to your close family and friends and not have this like big, huge shindig. Inflation costs are not only impacting couples, but vendors as well. Because of the cost to us, our wedding prices have also increased. Labor is going up again, um, obviously great for everyone, uh, for the staff, but it is it does make it a little more difficult to manage labor costs, food costs, cost of goods are going up, everything's gone up. So the price of weddings have gone up. With us having the film photography part of it, that actual tangible cost that just went up 40%, <laughs> woo! And then you, I feel like people don't necessarily equate, they're like, oh, you know, if it's $3,000, it's like, we're almost making just a little bit more than minimum wage when you break it all down. Trends discussed among wedding vendors were seeing couples buck some traditions to add some playfulness for their day. Yeah, lots of lots of neat ideas coming up. You can have a bar show up um, on wheels, like a little trailer bar. They make those super cute. You, uh, bouncy castles, white bouncy castles at weddings. There's all sorts of neat stuff. People are getting a little bit more... Um, dialed into who they are authentically as a couple and so if it doesn't resonate to have you know a big blowout wedding in a in a vineyard or something like that then they're really doing their wedding the way it means the most to them. For Castnet News, I'm Casey Richardson.